So I'm going to start now, pause the video now and have a go. Okay, uh, looking at the first question, it's asking us to do a data collection sheet, which is just a posh way of uh, saying a tally chart. Um, but it wants us to do types of film, and it gives us the genres, so comedy, action, science fiction, and musicals. So those are the ones that we want to highlight in our data collection sheet. So the first thing to do in the data collection sheet is to draw the tally chart. So just going to do some lines there we are okay so we want to list the genres so I'm going to just uh, create a text box here and I want it uh, pointed this way so it says comedy so we're going to put comedy action science fiction and musicals and we should really uh, put a title to this so I'm just going to say uh, genre now to get the full marks you didn't need to uh, put genre there but I think it's always best to do too much and too little. Now what I want them to do is do tallies in here but we don't need to actually do the tallies. Remember we're just uh, doing the data collection sheet, we're not filling it in. So we're going to have tally there. Now a lot of students would stop there, they've, they've got what they think is a data collection sheet. But with the tallies, with tally charts, whenever you draw them you don't want just lines going down and, and leave it at that. You want to convert the lines into a natural number. So if you've got um, nine tallies, you want the number nine over here. And what, what we call this is either totals or better frequencies or frequency. Okay, And just that one word there, frequency, enables you to get full marks in this question. Okay. So to get the three, uh, to get the two marks, you needed a genre column, a tally column, and a frequency column. And we'll have a look at the mark scheme in a second. But first, we're going to have a look at this second question. Now, the second question says that he wants to, or he collects the data by asking ten students in his class at school. This might not be a good way. Now, the uh, answer basically is in the question. He's only asking ten students. So we could say sample too small. And that would be enough to get the mark. You could also say um, that they're in his class, so it could be biased. Uh, they're all the same age, uh, or it's the same school. Um, and there's quite a few different answers that you could have for that. So let's have a look at the mark scheme. So as you can see here, you get uh, two, mar uh, two marks if you have all three of these things, which is the type of film column, the tally, and the frequency columns. Now for the type of film, that would be absolutely fine just to do at least three film types, so you didn't even need to do all four, but it's best to do all four in case the mark scheme is different next year. If you missed out frequency, which is quite common, then you get one mark. For the second question, uh, you can say any ex uh, acceptable reason, and they've given some examples here, which is all same age, sample too small, bias, same school, and there are a few others that you can get the mark for. <laughs> 